Hi there, everybody. Welcome to your Astro Mojo. I'm your astrologer, Lisa Perron, and this is your general Western astrology forecast for March 2016. March has some thrills, spills, and adventure for us, starting off on the 5th with Mercury in the 29th degree of Aquarius, making a square to Mars in Scorpio. This could bring on heated, intense debates or an ending to a situation and is not the best time for negotiations. The planet Mercury enters the watery sign of Pisces also on the 5th that will stimulate your imagination and sense of beauty as well as being wonderful aspects for musicians, artists, painters and writers. Mars enters the fire sign of Sagittarius and is currently in its shadow phase before it goes retrograde in April. April. This can make you feel more energetic and prone to take action, but just not with your usual groove. The sun is in challenging aspect to Saturn on the 6th, and this could bring obstacles or delays in career matters. Now on to the most important aspects of the month. Yes, I'm sure you've been feeling it. The energy has been building for a couple of weeks now. I'm talking about the solar eclipse, new moon, super moon, which will happen on the 8th or 9th, depending on where you live. The solar eclipse will be at 18 degrees of Pisces with the sun conjunct asteroid Chiron. For some of you, this will have you dealing with past life issues, issues of emotional pain that you will finally be able to face, conquer and move on. This will really be a memorable moment for some people and they will reflect on it as one of the most life altering times of their lives. Jupiter is also making a lovely aspect to Mars on the 9th that could bring some financial benefit or a gift their way. Another lucky day to remember is the 10th when Jupiter in Virgo makes a very harmonious aspect to Pluto and Capricorn. This is an excellent time for expansion in career matters. Some people will be presented with an opportunity for a new job or to make uh, more money. The planet Venus <clears throat> excuse me, enters the water sign of Pisces on the 12th, and this will stimulate your imagination and sensitivity. This is a romantic and dreamy time, perfect for dates, as well as artists and writers. Jupiter is in disharmony with Saturn on the 15th, which could hinder financial matters for the time being, and some of you may have to rely on your own resources. The Sun enters fiery Aries on the 20th, followed by Mercury on the 21st, ushering in the spring equinox as well as new endeavors and new beginnings. This is a busy time when people will be rushing around, making decisions quickly and forever be in a hurry. Take it easy and slow down because we have another eclipse happening on the 22nd and 23rd, depending on where you live. This eclipse is a lunar eclipse full moon at three degrees of Libra and Aries. This particular eclipse will for the most part affect partners and relationships in your lives. On the 24th, Saturn goes in retrograde motion until August 13th. This will cause further delays and blockages in many financial matters and possible stock market slumps. Not a good time to invest. The 27th is a nice time for romance and to meet somebody new thanks to Venus and Pluto. This will also, uh, you will also, sorry, want to remember, sorry, I, I, I got mixed up again, not enough coffee. The 27th is a nice time for romance or to meet someone new thanks to Venus and Pluto. You'll also want to remember the 29th when Mercury makes favorable aspects to Saturn and Uranus. This energy could manifest a special message or a new financial opportunity or an unusual way of making money. These have been the transits and general forecast for March, but they will only affect you personally if you have planets in those signs and degrees. For personal predictions and to see how the stars may affect you, order your in-depth astrology reading with me based on your date, location and time of birth at astromojo.com. Until next time, lovelies, I send you love and light. Take care.